Hey there, welcome once again to the garage. If you're new here, appreciate you dropping by. Today, we're going to be taking a look at building a fan shroud for this radiator. You wouldn't know it looking at it, but this is a brand new radiator that I got off of Jegs for the Dart. I got this style because it's a slant 6, and a slant 6 requires this angled uh, nipple here on the lower part. But you can see, it's pretty scratched up. Looks like it's got a dent there. For a new $450 radiator, this is uh, in kind of rough shape, but is what it is and I need to get it in so we're going to use it. I'm not overly concerned about it looking brand new. So the plan, let's get started. So the plan is I'm going to convert the dart from, so the plan is I'm going to convert the plan is I'm going to convert the dart from a mechanical fan to an electric. I don't have an old shroud off of the other radiator. The other radiator has a pinhole leak somewhere down in here. It's also leaking up in here and the tank is coming off up here. So it's in pretty rough shape, which is why I'm replacing it. This one also has some mounting points for a shroud. The other one doesn't even have those. I think it takes probably some sort of a body clip to give you a threaded hole here. That's probably going to be the easiest way. At any rate, I'll have an aluminum pan that will come up, go all the way across, and then down. We'll attach it on those four points, and then we'll cut a hole. I got a 16-inch fan, so that should cover this. I'll go grab that, and we'll lay it up on here to take a look. But the idea is... We'll have something to mount the fan to that isn't those crappy zip tie things that they give you that you're supposed to stab through the fins. I don't trust those. Seems to me that that would just vibrate and cause it to leak. So let me go grab the fan. We'll take a look. Here's the fan I purchased. Take a look at this. Idea being, we're going to mount that. Somewhere right about there, but it's going to be up off of it a eh, half inch, three quarters of an inch, somewhere around there to give airflow through the entire thing. If we just mount this on here with the hardware that it comes with, nothing's pulling air through these corners. So you're only getting airflow through this area. So it's not going to give great flow and great cooling. If we put a shroud on it, it'll work a lot better. Here's the craptastic hardware that it comes with. You can see it's some sort of a, they look almost like a zip tie. So it's got a round end. And you're supposed to stab that through the fins and then put some sort of a cap on the other end that tightens it down. Here's the little cap. It's a terrible plan. So in order to prevent it from, you know, vibrating and causing a hole, they give you these little foam things and some springs. At any rate, most of this hardware is just garbage. We'll throw it out, but we'll keep it until the end. I bought a full sheet, which is four foot by 10 foot of 18 gauge aluminum. That's what I'm going to use to fold this up. We'll have a double folded piece over here. So it'll go down and up to make it thicker and to get rid of the sharp edge. We'll come up, come across and come down. Where it meets this upper tank, probably put on a piece of foam or a piece of vacuum hose that split to give a seal and so that it doesn't vibrate against that. Then down on the bottom, I think what we'll try to do is have it sit flush on here. I don't think I'm going to try to come underneath. So probably flat to here all the way up and then over and down. Should be fairly easy to make. Let's do some measuring, drawing, then we'll cut this thing out.
I've gone ahead and drawn up some bend and cut lines. The important thing is at these corners of these bends, we're going to drill a hole. It keeps it from puckering up when you bend it. So we'll go drill these, then cut out the corners. Then we'll take it over to the brake and fold some of this up. Let's go do that now. Okay, I've got this cut out. You can see here that I drilled those and then cut into the hole. My concern right now is these edges here and here are going to get folded up. And they're going to give it some rigidity so it won't flex this way much. But I'm concerned about this direction because these are going to lay flat against that radiator. So I'm going to roll a bead right down here and then right up here. That'll give it some rigidity, especially when I cut a big hole in here for a fan. I don't want it flopping around too much. So I'm going to take this over to the bead roller and put a, put a couple of beads in it. Now we just test fit it. Fits pretty nicely on the edges. Just need holes for here and here on each side. To bolt it on, and we'll cut a hole for the fan. Mounting this shroud goes on these tabs. You could probably put a nut back there and run it into it, but that'd be a nightmare. I just went to the hardware store, picked up some of these. These are quarter 20. Make sure you don't drop it in from that side, but from the underside, because it's a little wider here. So that way you're not pushing against this part with the shroud. So basically I'll put it in and then it'll snap right in like that. Now, ideally, I'd use a body bolt. These are all I have uh, here in the garage, and they're obviously too long. They're nice because they've got this integrated washer. They also have a no thread section here, makes them a little easier to align and run down in, but that's the furthest it'd go. So I'm going to end up having to just use some sort of a hex here and probably a washer on that. So I'll put you know, all four of these on all the way around. Then 
we'll uh, do some measuring, get holes made in the side of the fan shroud. Here and here to line up with these holes. That way we can bolt it on and then get this center cut out. I'm going to put these in. I'll have this bolt come in from the underside of the so it'll come up through like that. Then I'll use a nylock and washer on top of the fan. Well, there you have it. Fan shroud installed, ready to go into the vehicle. Thanks for watching.